as we're dealing with this with this pandemic, there are some things we have to recognize that have really come out of this. And it's the vitamin D story that hasn't really truly been told. And the coronavirus has allowed us to really set up a platform for vitamin D and why it's so important. What is it about vitamin D that is so critical during this time of coronavirus? Okay, so let's look at some of the disease states that we see that the coronavirus preys on certain patients. It tends to be lung disease, heart disease, obesity, and also diabetes. All four typically run rampant in the African-American community and the Latino community in particular. And then you marry that with the fact, Lenore, that almost about 80% of African Americans and really worldwide are low in vitamin D, almost 80% of us. So what is kind of going on there? Well, one thing, everybody, is vitamin D is not particularly plentiful in our diets naturally. Things like milk and creams and butter, it's fortified, meaning that it's added. The other thing is when you see our brown skin, you have to recognize that the melanin blocks out the rays of the sun as well, which is the reason why we're so low. And I should say a third thing is that we're all stuck in this house. We're all stuck in this studio. We're not going out and getting the sun's rays. So therefore, everybody, we have to supplement our vitamin D. So if there's one message that I can get out, Lenore, worldwide, is that I want you to know your vitamin D levels. As I always joke with patients, I say, get on my level, uh, which is between 40 and 60. So is there a way we can tell? Are there some telltale signs that we don't have enough vitamins? With vitamin D, it's interesting because a lot of my patients who are low in vitamin D, Lenore, they'll just have this sense of, of, of fatigue. Uh, and when their levels get back up, they always talk about this sense of well-being. Uh, vitamin D is important for so many things. It's not just bone health, but it's also brain health, heart health. When I talk about vitamin D, don't forget, it's the importance of what vitamin D does for our immune system. It's not a treatment for the coronavirus, but it's the support of that immune system because you can't test your immune system, but you can test your vitamin D level and see exactly where you are. I also talk to patients about magnesium sometimes as well because magnesium is incredibly important to also make sure that vitamin D is absorbed properly and also help with the sleep and the immune system and for energy. But what about other ways that can help support, if whether we take supplement or not, what other ways can we get vitamins? I know you talked about the sun, other yep. things in terms yep. of nutrition maybe we should reinforce? Look, I'm not a fan of medications if we don't need them or pills, pills, pills. So the only reason why I'm mentioning vitamin D and supplementation in this case, thank God it's inexpensive. But the other reason why I'm mentioning it is because it's kind of hard to get out of our diet. When you think about it, some of the things that are rich in vitamin D, fatty fish, um, such as sardines and, and salmon, you could get a little bit out of that, but not always enough daily to get you to that level. People will say milk. Well, ignore it. It's added to milk. Vitamin D is not naturally there. So I say this, everyone, because it's kind of tough to get vitamin D naturally. Now, you can go out in the sun and get a little bit of sunlight as well. But once again, we're talking about the daily benefits of this. So as we're looking at the best way to get the biggest benefits with vitamin D, and the reason why I wanted to make it a challenge is that I want everyone to know what their levels are, get the levels right. There's nothing better than a natural alternative, I, I feel, to, to get well and stay well. Dr. Ken Redcross, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, everyone. Stay well and stay blessed.